What's happening, <laughs> y'all? So in this video, I'm gonna show y'all uh, how I got massively outfished by my wife. Uh -huh. Check out Christy. This got... is a little uh, pre-birthday fish from myself tomorrow. That's yeah. what's going down. So Christy's <laughs> birthday is actually tomorrow. And you guys, in this video, we kind of do everything. Top water, flounder fishing, yep, did some rigs. red fishing. Got it done today. We got Cam Shoal underscore under the cam yeah. right now. So let's go ahead, roll this footage, and fun day of fishing. Heck yeah, going down right now, y'all. Stay I tuned got by my wife. for some fish catching. About to go down. All right, first fish of the day. Have not even been out here for five minutes. Fishing this jetty at the last of the outgoing tide. Just pulled in this big one right here. Nice little speckled trout. Super stoked. Check out the belly on this one. Nice sized trout. Booyah. All right, people, we're gonna let this guy go and hopefully catch some more fish. There we go. There we go. That's, that's a good trout. Good trout. That's a really good trout. All right, people. We are on a nice trout. Oh, please get into the net. Oh, yes. Wow, Jack. Woo. He's a big one. How big is he? Probably 23, 24. All right, people, <laughs> just got trophy trout on top. Dang, that guy is a stud on top water. Look at that. That's awesome. Get a good look at that face. Dang. That's so cool. All right, we're going to let this guy go. Just look at that. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. That is such... Really? There's one. All right, people. This right here is dinner. This is the perfect size for eating. Like a 17 inch trout. Oh, hello. <laughs> he like flapped it and flapped out. That is fish tacos right there. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm gonna need that net, Jeff. Okay. Fish, right Fish taco right number here. two. Or just boat flip them. You got them. Cam's got oh, it. Nice. Thank you, Cam. Tides, <laughs> Cam on the net and on wow. the camera. Cam Shoal underscore. You guys remember that? Cam Shoal underscore behind the camera. <laughs> it's a fish frenzy going on. There it is, you guys. Check that out. These are the perfect size for eating. Uh, not necessarily the target that we're going for. Here, let me get this uh, line off of your camera. There you go. We just got fishing hooks and line and everything everywhere. But you guys, oh this is God. just a blast out here. Quarter ounce jig heads, some Z-Man, a little bit of smell good on there. What the heck? Y'all, today's just awesome. So this is pretty much what Christy and I are out here doing today. Christy's got her hands full. <laughs> Ooh, right, doubled up picture. Oh, there it is. There is one fish, two fish style. Hold on, let me get this. On the D-Man shrimp, 
people. This is one of my favorite lures, especially when it's getting into the fall time. Those, Ooh, a lot of those fish. And another one. Nice. Oh wow, I can't even get my fish back before Jeff's catching more fish. Guys, this bite is just absolutely Boom. on fire. Check it out. Check this thing. Watch out for them trebles. All right, y'all. Sun hasn't even come up yet, and getting out tons of these specks. We've got a bunch of reds in the boat, and got a bunch of fish already on the stringer. Hasn't even been 20 minutes out here yet, and top water is getting it done. Little walk the dog action. It's only gonna get better from here on out. But... Taking a morning walk. Yep. <laughs> All right, people, little change of, change of plans. Our fishing uh, location became uh, invaded by other fishermen. And uh, so we are now gonna be targeting the flatfish. That is also called the flounder. Get that procured juicy juice all up on that. That was a nice one, wasn't it? There, dude, that drop off right there. Oh, that's awesome. a good one. That's a good fish. Yeah. Grab the net. Grab the net quick. Oh, oh, big flounder, big flounder. Woo, yeah. That's a very nice flounder. Woo. Did you get that on film? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, knowing my luck, he's gonna flop off the boat, and I just wanted him in the hole of the boat. I almost lost him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. Nice fish right here, y'all. Getting it done. I just tied myself a little tandem rig, bucktail on the bottom. I cannot believe this guy almost flopped off the boat. <laughs> anyway, so cool. Hey there, buddy. What's up, y'all? So Jeff just sprung this on me super last minute, as you guys can tell. These are like my off hour, off peak attire. Uh, we're actually going out honky tonking tonight, so I got my cowgirl hat on and totally not my fishing attire. So if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing leopard and cowgirl hat, was not planning on doing this, but Jeff and I really enjoy doing our tutorials for you guys and our instructionals and a lot of y'all seem to really like them and we get a lot of positive feedbacks. All right, so in the beginning of this video, we caught a ton of redfish on top water. Unfortunately, could not capture it on video for y'all because it was still before the sun even came up. It was super dark footage, so could not put that in the video. But um, when Jeff and I always get out to a fishing spot, one of us like to fish maybe on top fishing top water and then the other one is going to be fishing subsurface so right here i've just got a uh, quarter ounce jig head and i've got 15 pound floral right here just tied on this is kind of our go-to especially when you're trying to locate the fish so if you're just getting to a spot and you're not sure are the fish on the bottom are they in the middle of the water column or are they hitting top so again one of us will fish subsurface so this shrimp really helps you make some keating casts and helps to kind of work you can kind of bounce it on the bottom and kind of it's just a good uh, bait to kind of locate where those fish are at so if you want to start fishing on the bottom and then work it through different parts of the water column this is kind of a uh, go-to soft plastic for us but another one of our soft plastics i'm sure you guys have seen this a ton in our videos this is the minnow z right here by z man and it's got some great action in the tail so if you guys are just looking to slow roll it through the water column or if you guys are fishing this guy and you want to pause it goes head down and it's a very natural presentation so as far as gear for fishing with a soft plastic and a jig head this is a seven foot uh, favorite phantom rod right here and I like a little bit more stout rod when I am fishing with these soft plastics because it really helps you to get that hook set and make sure that you're not gonna lose your fish 
As far as a reel, uh, this is just a Florida Fishing Products reel. Typically, we like a 2500 or a 3000 series, uh, but on most of our stuff, we've got a 2500. All right, so let's get to one of our favorite ways to catch fish. As you guys know, it's top water. Jeff always says, if you ain't fishing top water, you ain't living right. So it's definitely. Right to the, yeah. <laughs> so this is the top dog by Miralure. Y'all, it's got a nice little rattle inside. And as I talked about earlier, the mullet run is happening all the way down the East Coast, all the way to the Florida Keys. So a lot of action on the surface, busting bait, and the top water is game on. You guys, right now when we're doing this video, it's mid-October. So um, this has kind of been our go-to during low light, cloudy conditions, early morning and evening. Y'all can and even, all throughout the day. Y'all can get away with it even during the day. Sometimes people say that you can't, but I've caught tons of nice size quality fish on this guy during the daytime so for my rod setup again anything that you guys can walk the dog is gonna produce quality fish but the rod setup uh, this is another one by favorite it's called the jackhammer this rod is much more sensitive soft tip because when you guys it's really similar to bass fishing all my bass anglers out there if you guys are fishing with frogs you're all of a sudden gonna get that big old explosion on the frog or on your top water, whatever you guys are fishing, and you don't wanna rip that hook out of the fish's mouth. So the soft action tip, or the soft tip up here really allows you to get the hook set, but not to rip it out of its mouth, especially if you're fishing for trout. You guys know they have paper mouths. You gotta be really sensitive with that hook set or you're gonna lose your fish. So just another uh, kinda quick setup for you guys again mullet run and think top water you guys if you ain't fishing top water you ain't living right also 2500 reel right here it's the osprey ce ce carbon edition and totally sealed in if you guys are fishing in salt water it's not going to get destroyed just make sure you guys wash it out take good care of your equipment all right so this is our third go-to kind of favorite lure for the fall time honestly this is probably one of my favorites alongside of Topwater. Topwater is kind of comes in close to this one, but this is the MR27 by Miralure, which is the technical name for the Miradine XL. And they've got them in different sizes, but this color right here is called Mardi Gras. You guys probably see us fishing with this color all the time. All right, so this Mardi Gras color uh, is kind of one of our favorite goats. There is a spider right there. Can you get it? Where? Right here, right here. He's like Where? following me right there. Get him. Babe, oh, yeah. get it. What is he hanging on to? Kill it. That's crazy. Where's he hanging from? I don't know, but can you get it? I can get it on the camera. No. Hold on, let me just see if I can. <laughs> where is it? Here, grab its web above it. And where does, where is it hanging on to? Probably that. <laughs> Christy is, is terrified. <laughs> we can't even get it on camera. He's so small. <laughs> oh, he wants to. That's how small he is. No, no, please don't do that. Be no. I just caught him. Here. Did you get it? Yeah, we'll set him free. It's good fish karma. Oh my god. Or mother nature karma. Hopefully, we'll catch no, him. I can big catch fish. Trout. I can. I can do. I can touch fish all day long. I can cut up fish. I can't do spiders. <laughs> spiders? No. Anyway, back to my MR27 for my technical people. It's a technical term, AKA the Miradine XL. Um, this lure really allows you to kind of, well, that was really fast, but the, this, <laughs> this lure. So when you guys are working this through the water column, uh, especially right now, these fish are, it's a feeding frenzy out there. So you can work it a little bit faster when the water hits 65 or lower, you're gonna work this a lot slower, um, but it's gonna kind of be, are you guys watching? <laughs> All right, it's gonna look something like that. All right, I can fish it a lot better than I can give you. Uh, it's gonna kind of go on its side and it's gonna roll and then it's gonna sink. The sinking Here, part. Let me show better. It's gonna look like <laughs> this in the water. Like Thank that. you. Why, Depending you, on how fast you Do you like play you with this it. at night? Is that what you do? Sit no, in the I'm garage and like. It goes like this. And then the fish, they just can't resist it. A lot of times on the pause is when you guys are gonna get that strike, which is really fun because it's kind of like when you're not working your lure and you're least expecting twitch, it. Twitch, 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 pause. pause. Yeah, let me try it. Is that better? Yeah. I, I'm not getting it. Um, yeah, if you guys have not picked up the MR27 
Y'all need to. All right. And or the 17 or the 37. Yep. 17 is a smaller one, 37 big. This is the jackhammer. I just talked about it for top water. Same exact thing. So you don't want to get a crazy hook set because you don't want to rip it out of the fish's mouth. You really want to give it time to hook itself. So this the really. Treble hooks. Yep. So anyway, anything else? That's it. I think that's Let's it. Go honky tonkin'. All right, y'all. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this quick little uh, instructional, and hopefully, this helps you guys catch more fish this fall. By the way, y'all, if you guys have not followed us on our social media besides YouTube, obviously, you guys are following us on YouTube because that's where you're watching this video. But go check us out on Instagram, One Fish, Two Fish Outdoors. Y'all, go ahead, give us a follow, and we want to see more pictures of y'all catching fish. So send them to us. How should they send them to us? I don't know, but I want to see you <laughs> honky tonking in this outfit. Yep, that's for sure. We're going to go pick some pumpkins, put some ponies, and honky tonk. That's so. right. All right, y'all. Peace out.